Hello and welcome. In this video, we will try to understand the practical difference between immediate and deferred immediate assertion. So before moving to the example, we'll try to understand a little bit of theory. And after that, we will, you know, write a simple code for this immediate and deferred immediate assertion to observe the result practically so that you will remember the concept for it. Before that, let me explain you with the help of this table the difference between immediate and deferred immediate assertion. This table is explained. Okay. So the first point is that in immediate assertion, we have to be defined this immediate assertion inside of procedural block only. Outside of procedural block, we cannot define this immediate assertion. Whereas deferred, deferred immediate assertion, we can define this inside and as well as outside of the procedural block. This is what the first point. Now the second point is for immediate assertion, unexpected multiple execution will be there in the same time slot. It happens in the immediate assertion. Whereas we can avoid this in deferred immediate assertion with the help of this uh, hash zero or final keyword before assert key after assert keyword if we are writing hash zero or final keyword that multiple execution unexpected multiple execution in the same time slot can be avoided and this deferred immediate assertion is introduced in the 2009 version of system very log you can see the LRM for this. Okay. Now we will try to understand with the help of an example, very simple example. So what we will uh, try to understand, uh, we can understand this unexpected multiple execution is there in the immediate assertion and we can avoid that in the deferred immediate assertion. So let me show you the example. So I have written a very, very simple example. So module and module, I'm writing inside a module for our understanding only. Okay. I'm declaring two variables A and B logic type. And as you know, logic is a four state data type. It has zero, one, X and Z values. Okay. And default values unknown X, right? And I'm writing continuous concurrent assignment here. So what I'm saying, assign B is equal to not of A. So what it is mean that B should be complement of A always. And inside this initial begin block, I'm writing a very simple stimulus. Okay. So what I'm saying at time T, uh, at time T is equal to zero, assign one to this A and after 10 time unit, assign zero to this A variable. Okay. And after 20 time unit, I'm just, you know, suspending the simulation using dollar a stop system function. And inside this procedural block, we have to write that uh, immediate assertion. As I have mentioned that, we have to write this immediate assertion inside a procedural block only. So inside this procedural block, always underscore com, this is the system where log procedural block, okay, begin, end. Inside that, I'm writing assert within parenthesis, B is not equal to A. Very simple. Assert is a keyword, okay, which define a immediate and uh, you know if we are if you are writing immediate assertion we have to use assert keyword whereas if we are writing a concurrent assertion we have to write assert property over the remember this one uh, and this is the label for that assertion you can avoid or you can write and this is the our own custom message okay so this info is printing assertion is pass whenever this condition is satisfied Else, whenever this condition is not satisfied, assertion will be failed. We can write this assertion, uh, sorry, this, uh, our custom message of, uh, in using infos or dollar display, or we can avoid also. So the system very log assertion is developed in such a way that whenever assertion is failing, the simulator is expected to print some error messages. Okay. And this is a simple stimulus block already I have explained. And after running this code in Costasim, you'll see the result something like this. So at time t is equal to zero, 
time unit assertion is failing okay and at time t is equal to 0 again assertion is passing so this is what that point right unexpected multiple execution in the same time slot okay so whenever we are using immediate assertion there may be multiple execution unexpected multiple execution in the same time slot so you can see after you know writing this code uh, at time t is equal to 0 assertion is passing whereas at the same time slot assertion is failing and after 10 time minute assertion is passing okay and you can analyze the waveform so as you can see in the waveform this red triangle means assertion is failing and green triangle is mean assertion is passing okay so at this time t is equal to 0 zero time slot you can see red and green both what it means that assertion is passing as well as failing at this zero time slot whereas at this 10 time slot assertion is passing so this is what the unexpected multiple glitch okay which is there in the immediate assertion and you can analyze the way from this window also uh, sorry with this, uh, you can analyze that immediate assertion with this uh, window also so here you can see fail count are you know one and pass counts are two so uh, here time, time time slot 10 it is passing whereas at time slot t is equal to 0 also it is passing so this two pass counts are there and at the same time at time z t is equal to 0 it is passing and failing both right so you can see failure failure count is one also so this is what the waveform for the immediate assertion where is the same example if we are using deferred immediate assertion as i have mentioned we can use hash zero keyword or final keyword after this assert keyword so which is nothing but the deferred immediate assertion and the example is same just we are writing hash zero or you can use hash Uh, hash final keyword over here and after analyzing the output you can see the in the console you will find that at time t is equal to 0 assertion is passing whereas in case of immediate assertion at time t is equal to 0 assertion is failing as well as passing okay this t is equal to 0 it is passing and failing both and this can be avoided using deferred immediate assertion by using hash 0 or final keyword okay so as you can see at time t is equal to 0 assertion is passing whereas at time t is equal to 10 assertion is again passing and you can analyze the waveform also so that red triangle is not here right whereas this green triangles are there meaning at time t is equal to 0 it is passing at time t is equal to 10 also it is passing and you can see this window also for more detail failure count count is 0 whereas pass counts are 2 here right so this is what the practical difference between immediate and deferred immediate assertion so that unexpected multiple you know executions in the same time uh, same time slot can be avoided in the deferred immediate assertion using hash zero or final keyword and this deferred immediate assertion is introduced in 2009 version of system verify so i hope with this you have understood the practical difference between immediate and deferred immediate assertion and also i hope you have enjoyed this video so thanks for watching this video thank you